Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, I'm going to be doing another segment of Every Card Has a Story. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what this segment is, I talk about certain cards that I have in my collection. They may hold sentimental value, they may be commons, supers, whatever. They may not even be the most expensive cards, but they hold sentimental attachment to me, be it through certain events that I've had throughout my life, or be it just funny stories that are behind them or people that I've met throughout my life. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Alluring Queens that I have and I've collected throughout the years. So Allure Queen number three, Allure Queen number five, and Allure Queen number seven. Now, this story is really cool how I got these cards. So it starts off with a long time ago. I... Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable... Oh, wait, wait, are we doing Samurai Jack or are we doing Yu-Gi-Oh? My bad. <clears throat> uh, I think I should take this away. Well, you know what? We'll leave his troll face down there. I saw this card off in the distance and I just picked it up and started talking like that. But, yes, long ago, <laughs> uh, back when Cyber Dark Impact came out, which wasn't a great set by any stretch of the imagination... I actually went to the sneak peek for the set because I had nothing to do on that weekend, really. So I forget how old I was. I think I was like 14 or 15 at the time. I think I was 15 or 16. I was either in middle school or high school. I forget what time Cyber Dark Impact, what year it came out. I think it was 2005 or 2006. But I think it was 2006, actually, now that I think about it. But beside the point, I actually went to, lo uh, to locals to get go to sneak peek and I didn't pull anything really good except these cards that you see right before you well more specifically these two cards and then this one later on we'll talk about so story goes I go to you know sneak peek I don't pull anything really great I think I pulled one cyber dark super I pulled double allure queen which I keep on me in this sleeve here and I pulled alluring queen level five this rarity and you can tell because these are both first eds which is kind of cool so sure her artwork looks awesome first off looks amazingly awesome but i pulled her and i said oh cool this card looks awesome and then i read the effect and i was like eh. and then somebody said wait they have an alert queen level seven i was like oh really that's really awesome so me being me uh a week a couple of weeks go by and I enter the tournament for that evening. And I enter the tournament, and I forget what place I got. I think I got like third or fourth place, something like that, uh, in the top cut at locals, whatever. And I got Cyberdark Impact as our pack to open up. And I open it up, and I got this Allure Queen Level 7. Now, this Allure Queen Level 7 is a little bit interesting. It's actually a misprint Allure Queen Level 7, which is pretty cool. So if you look here, you'll notice that it's a misprint and it's literally a misprint because if you look at Allure Queen level five here for a second, you'll notice that it's right in the center. That's where the name's supposed to be. And that Allure Queen level seven is way the heck up here on the border. Look at that. So that's the misprint about this. It's not a first ed one, but that is so cool. It's one of the few misprinted cards I have. I have my, um, I believe it is my Diffusion that I have as a misprint. It's double stamped which I keep in my binder. I did a video on that not that long ago talking about it. Uh, and then you also have your Alert, my Allure Queen level 7 that I have. But this was for me back when I was playing, I think I was playing Horse level 7, level 8. So the story continues on. And I actually decided to enter the tournament because I had my Allure Queen level 7. I had another Allure Queen level 5. I don't have any more. And I had this one. And I had my Allure Queen level 3. So I entered the tournament that night. And guess what? I didn't win the tournament. But I actually won a couple games with Allure Queen Level 7. And I'll never, ever, ever forget that day because it was just so cool. And people kept picking up Allure Queen Level 7 and looking at the, the misprint. But it's just a fun little story of just collecting this, these cards. Because I was literally, once I got the level 5 at Sneak Peek and I found out there was a level 7, I said, I gotta find this level 7. But I wouldn't trade with anybody. And about a couple weeks later, guess what? I pulled the other Queen level 7, but it's a misprint, which was just a cool little story 
that I want to tell you guys. It's just not an amazing story, but it's a cool personal story about collecting a set of cards. And it's one thing that I miss about the level cards is you could collect them and then they could level up. And I'm hoping also that one day Konami will bring, and at the moment they haven't really, they've gone with a different route, which I think is great, which is giving the level monsters like indirect support. Like you can use like uh, Silent Swordsman and Silent Magician, and I'm hoping they do that for other level monsters like Horus the Black Flame Dragon, but um, which I need to do a video on eventually, uh, which is amazing by the way. But yeah, this is the story of collecting these and the fun little quirks that came in and eventually led me to building a deck around it which I didn't win the tournament, but I had some fun trolling people <laughs> back in the day. But uh, yes, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, take care, have fun dueling, hope you enjoy this little story about the Allure Queen, and get to see a little piece of my collection as well, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I keep these in one of my binders because they're just so cool looking to look at, and I love the artwork of the Allure Queen. Uh, Allure Queens, they just look so cool looking. But till next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.